and welcome back to Jules Guinea Pig Palace. We're here talking about my personal female herd. I take the rejects, I take the moms that have babies and end up rehoming the babies. Usually the moms are a little bit more aggressive sometimes, so I try to put them in with my herd to make sure that they have someone. Um, we are going to go over who I have in my herd, and this is like not even maybe like a quarter of the pigs I have because we currently have 54 right now which is awesome of course I want to take more in I want to be able to do more of course I need help doing that but of course you guys can always look into that option with me uh, today we are gonna meet my personal herd like I said so I'm gonna start by showing you off each individual one um, I'll start with the one closest to me so this right here is Cyborg. She was a PetSmart rescue. I was working at PetSmart a long time ago, and I was able to get her as a rescue. Uh, they ended up giving me her a deal because she was there forever, and she was bigger than all the other guinea pigs because they thought she was pregnant a couple times. So they just ended up giving me her to with a discount. So she is one of my first baby girls that I ever got. Um, this one right over here is going to be Slate. Slate is going to be my hus one of my husband's favorites, actually. She is the lover in the house. Every time you go to the cage, she just wants to love. She wants you to rub her head. She came to me from a family who really loved her and everything. They just unfortunately couldn't carry her to her new home. So I was more than happy to take her and take all her stuff so she was comfortable. She's been the boss of the herd trying to be the alpha, but usually it doesn't work because she's very submissive at the same time. Mm. Over here is going to be Pumpkin. She came to me with three, or sorry, three pigs in total, so two pigs additional to, to her. So Pumpkin is going to be one that was surrendered because she was a Craigslist find. They were just giving them out to anyone who would take them. I try to be taking them as soon as possible because I don't want someone to just get guinea pigs and do wrong things with them. I want someone to be educated with these guinea pigs because it is a lot, a lot of education in order to take care of guinea pigs. So this one is Pumpkin. She is a white crested. The other two that you saw were um, American Smooth Hair. Um, she has the little colic on her head with a white mark, which it means she is a white crested. I have another white crested in my herd too that you will see in a little bit. This right here is my only teddy bear. She, her name is Horse because my husband says it's the way her fur feels, it feels like horse. Because she is a teddy bear pig. And we're going to take the hide away because you guys are fighting. Um, so she is a teddy bear pig. She came to me with four, three other guinea pigs. She was really pregnant. She ended up the day I got her, she ended up having nine babies and only one survived. Um, and she survived, which was the best part of it, you know. At least I had a baby and I had her survive. Um, she is super sweet. She's super loving, very submissive. She's probably one of my favorites, of course. That's why she's in my herd. Um, let's see who's around me now. This one over here is going to be Nala. My best friend ended up getting Nala and her sister Princess from someone who was just surrendering her pigs on Craigslist again. And it was actually a friend of hers, so she's like, hey, we can take your pigs and she, they both fit in with my herd very well and they both love it. They're about, they're the oldest ones in my herd, they're about three years old, so they are the biggest ones I have. Um, she's super sweet, again, she is just an American smooth haired. Um, her sister is going to be Princess, this one is Princess, this one is my husband's favorite because she does not poop when she's on him and she also just sits there. She doesn't do anything, she just lets you pet her and just sits there. She's super chill, super awesome. I love her, everyone always loves her, everyone always thinks she's so sweet. Mm. Okay, so that was Princess, and then we can go to Sparrow. Sparrow is going to be Princess's best friend. They love each other a lot. That is one reason why my friend's not able to take the two guinea pigs back, because this one fell in love with Princess. So. They are bonded now and they just do everything with each other. They eat together, they sleep together, they're so silly. But again, this one's Sparrow. She has little wings on her back which makes it look like she's a bird. And I know you're freaking out, it's okay. We'll put you back down. I know. She doesn't like to be held very much. She was never held. She was actually one that was rescued with horse. 
Um, over here is Big Mama. She, I'm very indifferent about what she is. If anyone is good with guinea pigs and breeding and knowing with the breeds, she is a little different because she reminds me of a Peruvian, but it's like shorter hair, but it's still pretty long. It's at least a couple inches long. She's all black with a couple white spots. Um, her name is Big Mama because she was a big mama. We had her for a couple months, then she ended up giving birth. She had seven babies, and again, only a couple live, but good thing she's still alive. I know she never really got held either. She was in a group of nine. I have her and her one of the girls that were with her that are in my personal herd, and then the other ones are up, up for adoption, which is always good. A couple sets. Um, go over here. This is wrapped... Raptoid. Raptoid was actually free at PetSmart because PetSmart will not sell you an animal that has a birth defect. She actually has two toe, extra toes in the back, which uh, I call dangle toes because I think she's cute. Um, she is an Abyssinian. I have a lot of Abyssinians. I think they're one of my personal favorites. They have a lot of attitude. She's super sweet. Um, she's had babies uh, because I used to have a male in the group with them at one point and she did great. I now just have her with all females um, and she does awesome. Um, over here is Peanut. Peanut did get a different name but I never remembered it so her adoption name was Peanut. That's what her where we got her from and that's what they called her. She was again a Petco rescue. Someone surrendered her and her sister and I ended up taking both of them because I hate seeing surrenders there. So I ended up getting a lot of them and they become my personal ones. Her and her sister, they're both so sweet. I'm gonna guess they're about two and or three. Um, they're both really nice. She is again an American smooth haired guinea pig with pretty colors. Her sister, on the other hand, is an Abyssinian. Her sister's name is Ginger Saurus. Um, she is an Abyssinian with a black and kind of like a tannish around her. She, again, is super sweet. She doesn't really do much with other people, just kind of minds her own business in the herd. Um, and even talking about the herd, the herd has, if you see the grids that are going, it's called a CNC cage. They have a four-desk CNC cage with a huge kitchen area where they have just their hay pellets and water bottles. And they actually go to the bathroom mainly in there, which is really nice for me for cleanup. Uh, the next pig that I have in my hands is Abominable. She was given to me, um, again, as another surrender. I personally fell in love with her because I thought she was cool with the whole all white and just a little bit of black on her face. But she's super sweet herself. She doesn't really like humans as much, but we're trying to get her used to it. Um, this is my newest rescue. Literally just got her like two days ago. Um, her name is Miss Bongo. She is an American smooth hair again. She's probably one of the sweetest pigs we've gotten so far. Well, we have a lot of sweet pigs, but she literally the first night was just cuddling up with me and not wanting to leave and was falling asleep closed-eyed, which is very, very weird for guinea pigs. They usually don't do that unless they really like you. Mm -hmm. I know, you want all the food. Um, this over here is going to be the one that I rescued with uh, Pumpkin. Her name is Bam because she likes to have a lot of attitude and uh, hit her sisters, only her sisters, but she was doing it in the car on the way home and my husband just named her instantly, naming her Bam. She's super sweet, super cute. She's very shy, but I think she's beautiful and I love her like crazy. Um, okay, can we come to mom? This over here is Yachty. She was a surrender to me. Um, she is the other white crested I have in the house. I personally like them too because they have the little bit of the colic going on and that's one of my favorite traits of the Abyssinians is they have colics all over their body with longer hair, well medium hair. Um, she has the little white crested. She's black and brown. She again is only like four months old so she's really skittish but we're trying to get her used to humans. And she's doing pretty good so far. Um, and then all the ones that I need to finish with are on the other side of the table. Oh, it's okay. 
Uh, this right here is going to be Puck. Puck was surrendered to me because her owners thought she was a male and they only had female herd. Uh, with her, she actually was a female. I can properly sex guinea pigs and I will do a video of it, of course, because it's very important. Um, but she is a female. She's put with my females and she's been doing awesome. She is an Abyssinian. Again, she's black with a little bit of that tan brown color. Uh, she has a lot of attitude and tries to run the herd, but she is nowhere at the top of the list of running the herd. Oh, it's okay. And then this one is going to be Wham. Wham is going to be Bam's sister and also Pumpkin's sister. They were all, again, surrendered to me because they were a Craigslist find. Um, they wanted to give them to me because I explained to them that I do run the rescue and I do care about my guinea pigs and they will be spoiled rotten. Um, she, again, is just an, she's an all-black Abyssinian. I don't know if there's anything special with all-black Abyssinians, but you really don't see it. Um, she's, again, she's super shy. Her sister Pumpkin isn't shy at all. She comes right to the cage and let me pet her. Her sister Bam, again, super shy. And then I have two babies in my herd if I can get them. This one is going to be uh, Slate's baby. She, her name is Peepers. Peepers is actually a really cool coloring. She's like a gray-brown color, which I've never seen on a guinea pig before. I don't know if it's like a new coloration or what, but she's super pretty, super cute. I'm keeping her and her brother. Her brother's name is Peepers because he has a cute little white strip down his eye and he has cute little blue eyes. But she herself is like this grayish brown color with some white going through there. She, again, is only like three months old at max, so she's very timid of humans. But her mom is very nice to me, so she kind of comes to me. But at the same time, she doesn't. <laughs> and then the last one we have in the herd, if I grab her, oh my gosh, I know. This one is going to be Mud. Her name is Mud because she has a brown face with some black speckling all around. She is very, 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 very skittish. She was in a group of nine guinea pigs total where they were just keeping them in plastic totes, um, which is not good for guinea pigs at all. There's no airflow to the tote. And also, it is very dirty, usually very fast. That is why you want to use a CNC cage, especially with a herd. And herding animal, herding guinea pigs is the best thing to do for them. They should be in a group of at least two. Um, and you always want to try to do it in even numbers. Um, that is the best option for those guinea, for guinea pigs in general. That is the best way I've always read and the best way I usually do. Um... Oh, I actually forgot one. My favorite. This one you guys will probably see a lot of because she is my absolute favorite. This is Puff. Puff is a Abyssinian, a Peruvian mix. So she has this long poofy butt. She's very cute. I love it. I always wanted a Peruvian. Um, unfortunately, people keep Peruvians to use for... Uh, shows and to like make money off of them um, so you don't see a lot of them getting surrendered um, but she is my favorite so far she's just super sweet she does everything really nice she cuddles she eats right out of my hand she comes to me whenever I come in the room and follows me around the cage because they do have a pretty long cage but anytime I'm around she has to follow me around um, otherwise this is the herd. I have, I forget how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 now in my herd. Last time I counted I was at 15. Um, the 20 of them do live together. They do have fights here and there, but nothing where blood is drawn. It's mainly like get out of my face fight, which is totally normal with guinea pigs. Even two guinea pigs will end up doing that. Um, otherwise, these are only 20 of what I have. I currently, like I said, I have 54. I always am rescuing more. There might be a possibility that I might be getting a couple more in the future. I have someone that always helps me get more. Um, also, people just end up surrendering them to me when they do find my page or find me on Craigslist. Um, otherwise, 
thank you for guys for enjoying meeting the herd. I am going to do more videos about meeting the other animals we have because I do have some sets of boys that are my personal sets and then I do have some that are for up for adoption that if you are in the local area where I am located then of course they're up for adoption for you guys too and you guys can have them and rehome them and have them have a happy life. Um, otherwise please follow me on Facebook. My Facebook page is uh, facebook.com backslash Jules guinea pig palace. Uh, we do have a Patreon account, again, patreon.com backslash Jules guinea pig palace. And I also did just start a Instagram account. So it again is uh, Jules guinea pig palace um, when you go into Instagram. And we will be there and I try to post pictures daily of all the pigs, whether what we're doing, um, if we're eating dandelions, if we're eating carrots, what we're doing, oh, and some of our sleeping. Oh, they're so cute. Um, but yeah, otherwise, please follow us, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one.